It's possible to get the high voltage sequencer to trigger the C4D system to start recording. It's explained in this application note, the procedure for microchip electrophoresis with C4D. Step 6 here explains how to connect the cable and how to set up the software. This photo shows the high voltage sequencer, this top unit, and these are the digital outputs here. This unit is the C4D system, and this is the trigger. So you can see you can connect the control 1 plus using the red cable to the trigger plus of the C4D system. And from the high voltage sequencer, control 1 minus, the black cable, goes to trigger minus of the C4D data system. In the sequencer software, you go file preferences and check that the digital output is set to contact closure. In the PowerCrim software, go to Edit, Preferences, Digital Outputs, and here check that the external trigger is set to voltage level TTL. The sequencer software is in offline at the moment. You should click and hold the red button at the front of the high voltage sequencer. So now the run is lit up. I made a sequence here which uh, starts at uh, one second is the injection step. The step at starting at six seconds is a separation and this is where I set the digital output to high here. Uh, when it finishes it's set to low. So this controls the digital output at the back of the high voltage sequencer. In the PowerCrime software you click start and in the inject settings you check that it's set to wait for inject click OK and now when I click start you can see it's recording some data but it's waiting to inject when I click run here it's still waiting to inject for the injection period but as soon as the separation starts, the output has been lit up, it's triggered the power room, and it's set time to zero here. So at the end, uh, power chrome is still running, you'll have to click stop. If you want power chrome to stop on its own, uh, you have to set the this part here, uh, stop sampling. So because it's running between six and 18 seconds, that's a 12 second run. So here in minutes it's 0 0.2. So now when I click start, it waits to inject. I click run, it does its injection part. After 6 seconds it triggers the power frames to start recording and now it will run for 12 seconds and stop on its own. Now you click OK.